So what is up guys, Kitty Gaming today back with a brand new episode of Skyrim Special Edition. Today we are going to be looking at five Warlord armor mods. This is kind of my take of inspired Warlord armors, which I think would fit the bill. Without further ado guys, let's just jump straight into the video. For the first spot in this video is going to be the DCR King Crusader Mega Pack. This has been out for some time now, but... A ton of people have downloaded this and favoured it. It's absolutely beautiful. I remember covering this as soon as it came on to the first week of the Bethesda.net website. It was absolutely clean and beautiful. This one is definitely a really high textured and meshed armour. This unfortunately is going to be male only and where to find this armour you will need to head to the Bloated Man's Grotto southwest of Whiterun and look for two chests. One behind and weapon to the left, the Talos statue halfway through. Guys, you can craft this under the ebony category if you do see fit. That's how I obtained this particular set in this video. But you will need the required smithing perk to make it. This is coming in at a massive 139 megabytes of a download. But the textures and models for this particular armor set are absolutely insane. For the second spot in this video is going to be the Soul Eaters armor. Once again, this is an absolutely beautiful models and textures like all of the armors that we will be covering in this particular video. You will need to go to the Soul Eaters throne close to the Bloodlet's throne and slay this particular NPC to obtain this legendary armor. This is for male and for female. The armor can be tampered, but please do bear in mind once going out to head to this particular location to kill this NPC. Be warned, he is incredibly hard to kill, that is for sure. He does have an enchantment on his particular weapon, which you can obtain as well. Footage on screen now. That does actually take a small percentage of health back to him once upon on tack. Very nice armor indeed. Guys, if you haven't grabbed this one, go grab it now. This is going to be 7.2 megabytes of a download. For the third spot in this video is going to be Knight of Malagbal Armor. Again, this is going to be 8.3 megabytes of a download for a full set. That's boots, chest piece, gloves, helmet, and the one-handed saw, which you can double up on if you do see fit. So to get this one, you can create any smithing forge under the Daedric category. Bear in mind, it is not easy to make. You are going to need a ton of random ingredients and requirements to grab this particular set. This is going to be male and female supported, and this can be tampered too. Overall, a very nice inspired mod. Definitely going to be one in the Warlord collection as you can tell on screen now it does look quite terrifying and you would definitely not like to meet this guy on the battlefield that is for sure talking about meeting people on the battlefield this one i do believe is going to be inspired from dragon age but definitely does remind me of for honored this is going to be the warden armor blue and silver textured one for this one this again can be crafted under the steel category with any forge but you are going to need the smithing perks and a couple of ingredients and requirements to make this particular set overall once again the textures are absolutely insane all you need to do is install this one and away you go it comes with a couple of different variations of swords as well the one-handed and the great sword which is going to be a two-handed version of blades which you can also craft in the same category of steel they should be right next to each other this is going to be coming in 24.6 megabytes of a download definitely worth grabbing and really nice one i think this one probably fits best within the law of skyrim but if you do want to look like an absolute badass just grab any of these particular mods and they will do you justice and for the last spot in this video is going to be gargoyless armor this again does come with the main chest piece the boots gloves helmets the one-handed sword and the two-handed battle axe there are two ways of getting this particular armor set of weapons first of all is in the dragon reach cellar which where upon it is in the prison you can enter on the right and there will be a new chest called gargoyless chest all of the items are within the chest i do believe this is going to be an expert lock picking to get into that chest the second way of this one is it drops from the gargoyless knight npc that will spawn through the world of skyrim they are with all the vampires so you are going to have to go out and search to get that one if you do not have the requirements or the compatibility to get into that chest within dragon's reach the armor can be tampered and this is also for male and female definitely probably one of the scariest ones within this particular series i did try and put humanoid and other different sort of beast race i suppose inspired armors into this video and this is definitely going to be one on the beast side so guys that's it for this 
episode. This has been five Warlord armors within Skyrim Special Edition. That's my take on five badass armors that you would not like to see on the battlefield. Warlords are the big dudes sitting at the back that you do not mess around with just because they are absolutely insane, hence why they are at that rank. Guys, if you did enjoy this video, hit me up with a like. Let me know in the comment section below if you'll be grabbing any of these absolutely finesse armors. But until the next one, guys, kill the kev here and kill the kev out.